Hey, Kev, do it. Hey, Leonard. Do you know of anything in ESO where I'm able to feel like I constantly hate my very existence for hours on end with the possibility of having to put down the game for a while just to recover? Why the heck would you ever want- I came from destiny! Don't judge me! Welcome everybody to yet another video showing off a fantastic grinding location within Morrowind. Now, gonna say this right off the bat, Spellscar is clearly better, but this location is usually much more freed up. I spent a good day searching for a decent grind location in this world and came across a public dungeon where enemies in a certain area have a beautiful respawn rate as well as massive pulls. Today, children, hop on the magic school bus because we're headed to the Forgotten Wastes. After traveling a couple of layers into this delve, you will come across a fairly large room where there is a very sketchy stairwell straight out of Lord of the Rings, and a ton of enemies covering almost every layer of the area. This will be our operation room, where our patients who sign in will never sign out. At this point, you're gonna need to grab the closest goon to you or on your friends list and force them into grinding. Now I would recommend finding an orc, because orcs are practically already slaves. Anywho, once you've got your slave or or grinding partner, you'll need something called... Training gear. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come to it. Training gear. Is that a kind of gear that allows you to train? Are you just gonna continue talking like a stupid old Mary? Because I don't have time for you. Yes, hence the name Terrain Neen. Every piece of gear you wear will amplify your experience gain for every single kill, and grinding is all about that kill. So here you are, leveling up your character, armor, weapons, abilities, you are learning absolutely everything. I'm learning! On top of this, you have the amazing potion that everybody knows and loves for that experience boost. Let's give it up for Sarcasm and Barosha. Popping one of these bad boys gives you that nice 50% XP boost for half an hour, and are relatively cheap on the guild store. As a replacement for the potions, you could also just get married, but that would require you to grind with that specific spouse in a group to get the XP gain, and then you'll more than likely have to put up with this. Hey honey, where do you want to go for XP? Um, I don't know, where would you like to go for XP? Are we really doing this? Alright, hold on. We've got our training gear, the Ambrosia, the Ring of Mara, a grinding buddy. That's me! Get back in your pit, Brad! One last thing for those of you who are... Comfortably well off! ESO Plus does indeed give you a nice old 10% bonus to your experience gain. So if you've got that hefty cash flow, drop it on this. Bro, I should stop. Alright, so you picked up all of that crap? Hey! Don't make me kill you beyond my will, Smith. Now you've got to travel through the layers of the Forgotten Ways, hacking and slashing through many of the half-wit degenerates who should just expect insta-death by now. Hey! You're the fifth guy to come through here to die! Until you come across the Caverns of Kogohoon. Or what I like to call the Grindy XB Room. Thing is, you ain't climbing that bad boy of a stairwell. You're staying at the bottom. Just like Mario Kart 8 all over again. Here, there are the best two pulls. The first pull is at the very bottom, allowing you to pull the group at the entrance, the group in the middle, behind the middle group, the two morons attempting to stand guard, and the final group near the ramp upwards. This is the major pull, and when enlightened, pulls a solid 50k plus if you pull right and have all of your XP buffs equipped. The second pull at the camp right above the first ramp gives you the chance to pull the center ground full of dumb long-ranged enemies that fry you from a distance, make sure to focus them, as well as the enemies in the camp above them, in which you need to pull them to the center ramp, joining them together. By jumping in between these two areas, you'll notice that the respawn time is super quick, which is the only way to make a grind location actually worth going to. Anywho, I just wanted to say a quick you're welcome to those of you who are now saying Screw you for exposing my grind location, Kevin! It would have never been exposed in a million years if it wasn't for you! Thank you all for watching, and I hope that you enjoy the beautiful XP. But remember that there is a way to max out your warden in 10 seconds. Simply go to the top of a mountain, and you...